We return to this surprise update in the battle of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis versus Disney. And that is the focus of today's Tech Check with Julia Borston. Hi again, JB. Hi, Carl. That's right. We'll score one for Disney. It's sort of a surprise win in this ongoing battle between Disney and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Now, this new oversight board that the governor installed to oversee Disney's district accused the previous Disney-controlled board of transferring much of the board's power back to Disney back in February. That includes veto powers over improvements or changes in the parks. Now, this is something that the new board that Ron DeSantis controls just discovered. Disney sharing a statement with us saying, quote, all agreements signed between Disney and the district were appropriate and were discussed and approved in open notice public forums in compliance with Florida's government in the Sunshine Law. Now, it's interesting here that they just discovered this recently, even though it was signed back in February. Meanwhile, DeSantis's office saying, quote, we are pleased the new governor-appointed board retained multiple financial and legal firms to conduct audits and investigate Disney's past behavior. So it sounds like this battle isn't over yet. But Disney's oversight board has been around since the state created a special tax district for the theme park back in 1967. This board has been responsible for approving the likes of infrastructure projects, as well as things like trash collection and also major construction. So this all came under attack by DeSantis when Disney opposed Florida's so-called don't say gay law. Um, and so this has been an ongoing battle. And so they're fighting over this, this tax district, but it seems like there's some other things at play. It kind of takes me back to when we spoke to Michael Eisner, was it two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. And we said, how is this going to resolve itself? He, he argued that it's hard to go up against Disney over the long term politically and that the company would make some of these Florida critics converts. No, he said, you know what would not be a good strategy for Ron DeSantis running for president? Going after Disney, which everybody loves. But, of course, he also used to lead the company. Right. Uh, we'll see That's what true. happens, especially if they, if they take this further. JB, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say one thing that's interesting is that in addition to managing this district, and yes, there are things like approving infrastructure, which Disney, of course, wants to do, but there are also costs associated with it. And Disney would rather car carry the cost of managing its own trash collection. Um, it's expensive, but it's worth it for them to have that kind of control. So it, does the state really want to be responsible for the cost of that as well? All right, Julia, thank you. Good update. Julia Borson.